Hello and welcome back to the channel and today I will be teaching you how to remove the base on your diecast car using only a flathead screwdriver. So obviously today we're not talking about screw base cars because you can remove that with any screwdriver so that doesn't really count and it's really easy to do it. Today we're going to be talking about riveted bases like the stuff you find on Hot Wheels. Atomica or even green light. So how do you remove riveted bases? Well today We're gonna to be doing that on this 350z and to prove to you guys that it works. We're gonna be doing That and also this is an r32 that I repainted and also remove the base using the similar meth method so as you can see this is the rivet and basically the outer ring of the rivet has been completely removed like that allowing the base to come free at any moment so it does work so how this basically is going to go is you want to position your screwdriver in between the base and the rivet and really kind of push it in and then what you want to do is kind of seesaw the way out as you can see right there that has eaten away a part of the rivet but this method does come with some drawbacks you're going to damage your base a lot so Basically repeat this process until this whole outer ring is gone and then you can remove the base and do it on both sides. Alright, so this is pretty much what it's going to look like when it's done. This is the done one and this is the one that has been left untouched. So as you can see, the metal is a lot smaller here than here. That's because we pried all the outer ring off. So basically there's nothing holding the base to the die cast part of the car anymore in the front so now we need to basically do the same thing for the rear and then we can pry the base out and then we got it okay that is both sides done right now as you can see that is both sides done so now we are going to take the same screwdriver and stick it in between the wheel gap and the wheel and kind of make sure that you eat a part of the base and then basically just kind of the same, same thing, kind of seesaw it out, and as you can see, with that little click, the base is now free. So now do the same part for the rear, and also be sure to kind of click, and there we go. So basically, the movement is sort of stick the screw in and kind of do this, so that it kind of nudges the base out. And as you can see, there we go. The car has been disassembled without using a drill, so... A little way that you could kind of repair the base to kind of get it even again because as you can see right there it's kind of uneven right here so you can basically use some sandpaper and kind of sand it down so yeah that is basically that has basically been my little tutorial on how to remove your base using only a flathead screwdriver and here is the complete car so i hope you enjoyed and uh, you could subscribe for more reviews or tutorials like this one i hope you enjoyed this has been the channel pocket rockets you can subscribe below right there and out and just hit my arm oh ouch and hit the bell and you can find me on instagram at pocket rocket 64 where i post diorama stuff and diecast photography stuff basically that has been all nothing more to say goodbye